What's up guys, Playwell Bricks here, and today I'm going to be reviewing set number 40448. Uh, it doesn't have an official name, but this is the Lego Ideas card with 189 pieces. That was a gift with purchase a little while ago, um, with purchases of $85 or more, I want to say. Yeah, I believe that's right. Because with two minute figures, it was designed by a fan. I don't actually have his name on me. Um... But yeah, this is a fan, uh, well it was originally a fan design, then you know, went through Lego's process, so it changed a little bit, but I think it looks really cool. It's supposed to be an older vintage car, and I think they really got that look there. This, this color, this turquoise, is really, really nice on the car, and looks great. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. So, first we've got the girl here, she's got some sunglasses, leather jacket, uh, purple pants, just basic kind of city person. You've also got a reversible face uh, with a smile and without the sunglasses. But I think she looks cooler with the sunglasses. Blonde hair. So, like I said, just absolutely just, you know, basic minifigures. Doesn't need to be anything special. This guy pretty much looks like the same guy from the Hot Rod promotion. Same hair, face, same, uh, you know, leather jacket. Just different uh, printing on it. Uh, but it's cool. It looks pretty good. The hair. I love this hair piece. It's always good to get another one of those. And then if I ever need to make a high school or something. Then I've got this shirt. Which is good. So those minifigures are good. I think it's cool that they put two in this one. And in the last one they did of these. It wasn't an ideas one. But there was two. But only one actually went in the car. The other one was a mechanic. But in this one, you can actually fit two in the car, which is really cool. And considering the tiny size of this car, I mean, it's under 200 pieces and they managed to fit two people in there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can comfortably fit two people in there. And that works because of these pieces here on the side. So there's room for the arms. We've got some surfboards on the sides, which is really creative for some cool decoration. And now, as it looks really cool, if I shake it, they fall off very easily. And I'm surprised because Lego models are usually known for their uh, stability and stuff. But uh, it's just connected on those last two, and so really only connected by one. So it's really loose, and when you're trying to play with it and like hold it and stuff, they'll like fall off like that just did, and the other one. So that's just an annoying little quirk that... Happens sometimes, but it looks cool, so I'll give them that. The front here looks great with the little ice skate as little car ornament. Um, and I don't, if I move this, you can actually see there's a little bit of a steering mechanism thing, which is kind of cool, just one of those extra little details. At first, I was kind of skeptical of the windshield, and it looks kind of weird from like the back or anything. But the front and sides, it looks like a great uh, convertible windshield, honestly. Like, it looks really, really good. Um, and like I said, the colors are just awesome. Like, this blue just works so well. And then we've got the classic padding back here. Something I wish they would have done that you see in a lot of, like, these cars. Um, I think these cars were pretty popular, like, 70s, 80s. Uh, these types of convertible cars. And, you know, they'd have, like, two extra seats in the back. And they would kind of sit, like, on these cushions. And I think that would have been cool to add, but having space for four minifigures, but only adding two, I guess it'd look a little weird. So that makes sense. And, you know, they're not going to put four minifigures in a promotion set. So, yeah, that's all right. Um, just basic underside, nothing special. The back, we've got some cool lights. Just that looks like a classic convertible from the 70s, honestly. Like, it looks really cool. I love this piece, how it comes out. And then we've got this going back in. So that creates a really nice um, low. And it's got pretty decent amount of space underneath it. So it won't be hitting into a lot of stuff. Um, but, you know, obviously it's not an off-road vehicle. But it'll work great over, you know, roads and whatnot. The mirrors are pretty cool. And it appears I actually lost one along the way of bringing it down downstairs because um the lighting is a lot better down here 
So, yeah, there's supposed to be a round one by one tile there, but apparently that didn't make the cut. So, yeah, that's the pretty much the model. I mean, it's a small set. There's not too much to it, but the car in itself is really, really good. Would fit well in any city, especially, you know, by the beach and stuff. And I would show the box, but I may or may not have stepped on it. So we're not going to be doing that today. But this has been my review of this Lego convertible. I hope you liked it. Make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more Lego content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.